Hello, everybody. We're going with our first presentation of the day. It is Commodore 64 Religious Programs. Now, usually in the past, Leonard Roach, our, uh, the newsletter editor for the Fresno Commodore User Group, he would present uh, Commodore 64 Religious Programs, and he would come every year and do that. Uh, this year, he could not make it to the show because of health reasons. He, they, they have him on a heart, heart monitor and because of money reasons. So, driving all the way from Kansas City, Kansas is a long drive. So uh, I offered to present some of his uh, uh, religious programs that he was going to show uh, today. So these are Christian programs. If you are not Christian, well, you can <laughs> maybe modify them to you, your religion if you want to. So we're, we're gonna start with the first one here. We'll start easy and show off uh, Cyber Jesus. Oh, wow. Cyber Jesus. <laughs> and uh, we're running this on the, the, the Ultimate 64 here. If I could find it. I had to rename these files because they were a little bit too long for the Commodore to understand. So I had to rename them. And uh, there he is. There's Cyber Jesus. So it's just a simple graphic here. Run it. Well, Sovereign Jesus, are you working? There it is. Oh! Done on a rainy afternoon, my idea, her kindness, for someone with such faith, it is good to have you. Uh, okay, this one. Written by Arnold Jailbird Christal. Cyber Jesus for Universe. Hit it. Oh, there it is. Oh, interlace mode. There it is. Look. That's very, 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 very jittery. <laughs> very jittery in interlace mode. There you go. So that's Cyber Jesus. It's simple. There you go. Yeah. Nice graphic there. Wow, that is cool. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good job with all the colors and the sharp lines there. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to another one next. Okay, reset the machine. Go back into it. Here we go again. Back into it. Our next one will be. Um, I had to rename this Passion. I believe it's another graphic. Oops, what am I doing? I hit the wrong button, sorry. If I could find it in the menu here, there it is. And I believe, I believe this is another graph. Or maybe not, we'll find out. Oh, there it is, Petsky art. So a little bit of Petsky art down, done here on the Commodore. There it is, the Passion of Christ. Um, I'm sure uh, uh, you can convert this uh, back to, to uh, uh, a program, a basic program. Right now I believe it's, it was uh, uh, done on machine language and then, uh, but of course you can convert it back to basic if you want to just run it as a basic program. Okay, next we are uh, going to go to two short programs, uh, well two short educational programs, but well, the first one is um, well, if you could call this education, let's reset the machine. And the next one is called Satan's Hollow. Now, this program... It's an old game. <laughs> it's an old game. Yes, it may be an arcade game. And actually, this was developed by... Well, it came under the Commodore name. It was one of the, one of the last programs uh, <laughs> marketed by Commodore. Right? Commodore was into Christian programs? Okay, well it's kind of Christian, not really, but you'll see when, when I run the thing. So, map the disk, it's okay, like here we go. And run. Let's see. The menu, the lady. Lady. Maybe. Actually, it's really a shoot 'em up. I mean, yeah. what? So, let's see how fast this thing runs here. Uh, come on, run, run, run. Please, please run. Do something. Uh oh. Maybe it's still thinking. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, crack. 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 From this year 1997, that futuristic year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, get off that crack screen. Oh, look at that. Train. Okay, again, so do you want unlimited lives? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. It's unlimited. Do you want unlimited shields? Yes or no, even though shields is spelled wrongly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Jerry says yes. 
Do you want to never lose your extra guts? Like <laughs> there's a typo, a typo, never lose your... Uh, loose. loose. Yeah. Bad spelling. <laughs> yes. Mm. The, the starting, uh, starting number of guns, right. eh, we'll just say one. Do you want level skip? Eh, not necessary. Nope. Okay. And now the game is loaded. Oh, look at this. Adapted to the C64 yeah. by David... Rezowski, yeah, 1981, Valley Midway. Yeah. I still can't remember the game, though. I remember the name, but I can't remember the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a, it was yeah, like weird. Novel. It was like a one-screen thing where you're like running around and trying to get into something or get out of something. Okay, well, we'll see. Uh, that's not what this is, but we'll see. Yeah. Oh. Remember the music. Okay. Wow, look at that. Oh, now, those yeah. are, those yeah. are supposed to be demons up there. Oh, yeah. oh, those are demons? <laughs> why, why are the demons dropping bombs on me? And, yeah. and then, if you if you get... I can't fire. Oh, shields are up. If, if you get rid of all the demons, at the very... at the end of the level, Satan's head is supposed to come out, yeah. and you're supposed to shoot Satan. Okay. And somehow, Ooh. somehow, you, somehow you have to make it up. I mean, the level, if you pass every level, somehow you make it up to that castle up there. Yeah. I suppose that's supposed to be happening. Oh, there was Satan. Yeah. Yes, 1,000 points for killing Satan. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, this is Satan's Galaga, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Satan's Galaga. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. But of course, I am using all my... I am on cheat mode, so... If I took off all my cheats, I probably would have died just like that. Come on, let's take and come back again. Wow. So, this is Christian? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Oh, oh, my, oh, hey, I, I thought, oh, yeah, that's right, I have infinite lies, but I, I don't have, I didn't turn off collision detection. There is no way to turn off, oh, there's Satan again. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, he's firing fire at me. He's, he's spitting fire at me. Oh, yeah, I got Satan for another thousand points. So you keep doing this, and look, I have 6,100, 6,200 uh -oh. Fireballs! Fireballs are coming. Oh! Fireballs are coming down at me. So, the little demons... Uh, how, come, how, come, how come the little demons look like thing on warships? Oh! Yeah, Birds of prey. Birds of prey. Romulan birds of prey, oh no! Oh, oh, what's oh, that? Take your ship, take your ship. Ah, there you have go. to grab it. Uh, no, I couldn't grab it. Okay, well, that is Satan Hollow. Uh, oh, there. there he is again. One more time. Come here, come here. Oh! Whoa, whoa. He breathes fire, just like a dragon. He breathes fire. Oh, oh. he burned me up. Okay, mm -hmm. Satan Hollow guy. Oh, yeah. the fireballs are coming again. Okay. Nice. Reset. So, <laughs> once you get your Sunday school kids, <laughs> Sunday school kids interested in shoot them up, then you go to something even more educational. So we're going to go to the Bank Street Kids program. Now, the Bank Street Kids program, it was a series of programs, I believe eight of them, and uh, I've look, I have one of them here. If I can find it, where is it? TBS, TBS. Uh oh, I renamed it, but I don't see it. <laughs> uh oh, trouble now. If I can't find it, let's see. Hold on, guys. I could edit this in the video. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, I don't see it. Oh, here it is, Baker, the Baker Street Kids, my mistake. Um, Bank Street was a word processor, <laughs> sorry. I'm confusing word processors with a program. Okay, the Baker Street Kids was a series of uh, programs uh, 
put out by a commercial company, I forget the name of the company, back in the 1980s to educate kids uh, in religious matters. Um, eight, eight of them were released, I believe, in, a, in this series of programs, and it dealt everywhere from Old Testament all the way up to New Testament. Um, I've only discovered maybe four or five of them for download. The others are kind of lost out there. I went, ah, darn, I don't have the complete series of games. But uh, you can see that uh, the graphics of these, let's run, let's run, run what it is, then you'll, I'll show you. Okay, starting up. Hopefully the fast loader will load faster than 60 seconds. Baker Bookhouse, okay, still loading. Ah! So I believe originally this was for the Apple II and then converted over to the Commodore 64 because the graphics are very Apple II like. I mean, huh? So we'll see in a minute. Again. Okay, so it was the. If you saw that title, it was the. What was it? What did it say? The world, the, the day that changed the world, I believe. We the week that changed the world. Okay, so some instructions there. When the clock is in the upper right, left hand corner, that means you should wait one moment for it to disappear. Thinking. Spacebar. Welcome to Baker Street. Today we are doing a play called A Week That Changed the World. What is your name? And I will put in the name Bobby. Bobby. Return. So it's very Apple II like. On the screen, there's a list of stories which the Baker Street kids will perform for you. Press the space bar to choose the story you wish to see and pre press return. Press space bar. Okay, so here we are. We have a, a series here. Uh, which do you want to do? Jesus rides into Jerusalem. Jesus visits the temple. A trap for Jesus. A coin for Caesar. A widow's mite. Mary anoints Jesus with oil. 30 pieces of silver. Preparing... The Last Supper. The Last Supper. Jesus prays in Gethsemane. Judas betrays Jesus. Jesus tried. Peter denies Jesus and Judas hangs himself. Whoa! Is that for kids? Okay. Which one do you want? The Last Supper. I want to see how they okay. represent it in these graphics compared to what everybody knows. Okay. We're going down to the Last Supper. Okay. Now, how hard do you want the question to be? Tough? Very tough? Or super tough? Uh, uh, they have a tough? Easy? easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no easy. It's tough. Okay. Return. <laughs> Oop, I'm sorry. Space bar. Okay. Bobby, you need to turn the disc over to go on. To do this, follow these instructions. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, because it's the ultimate, you just press the button here and go to the next disc which is another D64. So is this like uh, questions from the Bible or something? Um, it's like, it's actually, it's more like reading comprehension. Oh, okay. So they'll give you a, a little story to read and afterwards they'll ask Sorry, you questions. questions. Okay. Okay, I'm mounting the disc, hopefully, and then press space bar to go on. Okay, it's loading the next disc. Ooh, a little clock in the corner. Here's the story I know you will enjoy. Read it carefully. Press the space bar to go to the story. You may use the B key to go back a page. Press the stop key at any time if you wish to leave the story in the middle. Okay, here we go. Very friendly, very friendly for, for kids. At the end of the story, you will be asked some questions to see how well you understood it. If you do well enough, you will see the picture come to life. Oh, okay. Very limited animation. <laughs> so you'll see that in a minute. Okay. It's a text-based space space adventure, right? Oh, look at that. Wow. Very, very nice. What? Very a Apple II-like picture. Okay, the last summer. Press space bar to go on. Okay. <laughs> Meatloaf? What the? <laughs> Peter and John had prepared the food for the Passover supper. Uh, 
Okay, they, they had sliced bread back then? <laughs> <laughs> they had Wonder Bread back then? Yeah. Wonder Bread. <laughs> now it was evening and Jesus had come. His 12 special helpers were there too. Does, do they mean the apostle? <laughs> helpers. No, they're just helpers. It was time to eat the supper in the upstairs room. Okay. While they were eating, Jesus said, One of you will betray me. The disciples were sad to hear this. Am I the one? Each asked. The one who dips his bread in the dish with me is the one, Jesus answered. Do I remember that? <laughs> is that the line? Okay. Dips the I must die, but the man who betrays me will be punished. It would be better if he had not been born. Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it. Then he broke it. It's already sliced. And gave it to his friends. Take this and eat it, Jesus said. This, is, this bread is my body. Then Jesus took a cup and thanked God for it. He gave the cup to his friends. This is my blood, he said. It is poured out for many people to forgive their sins. I will not drink any more of this until I drink it with you in God's kingdom. Oh, it's a long story. When yeah. the supper was over, Jesus and his friends sang a hymn. They did. Then they left for the Garden of Gethsemane on the Mount of Olives. The yeah. end. Okay. Okay. Now the questions come. Would you like to read the story no. again, Bobby? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Forget it. Is that a question? Yeah. Oop. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you are going to read the story. Let's see how well you understood the story. You will be asked some questions. The Use the space bar to <laughs> choose the correct answer. Press return when the box is around the correct answer. Jesus ate this special supper with his Brand. blank okay. special helpers. 2, 10, 12. 12. Yes. 12. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Okay, I use the space bar to move around. There you go. 12. Okay. Turn. Success music. Okay. Press space bar. They ate the supper in upstairs room, coffee, coffee shop, shop, dining room. I love coffee shop. <laughs> Ooh, co okay. Well, what if we choose coffee shop? Well, we'll they had, see the picture at the they, end, though. They had coffee shops back then. Yeah. <laughs> Does it end? Not quite. You chose it the wrong one. Off. And are you questioned again, or is it next question? Space bar. Oh. No, well, you get another chance. Oh, they make you read the story again. It was time to, ah, see, now oh, they, they okay. give you the correction. Okay. All right. But this special meal was eaten in the upst an upstairs room. Um, the food was prepared by a chef, owner of the house, Peter and John. Yes, owner of the house. Another wrong answer? Oh, I think they actually have right. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not just. Nice going. You've got. Oh, that's how the story goes. On the first page. Oh, okay. A long time ago. <laughs> this special meal was eaten at noon, in morning, or in evening. In the evening. In the story says. That's right, good going. Press the space bar. During the supper, Jesus said one of his helpers would <laughs> pay him, help him, betray him. Mm. Go for the right answer, let's see what happens. The last one, betray him? Yep. That's the correct answer. Okay. So, okay, we just want to get to the animation. <laughs> of course, we did get one question wrong, so maybe we'll, we'll see the little animation. Jesus said his 
blood is poured out for many people too. Look at, wow. feel sorry about, forgive sins. Word mm. answer. Nice work, keep it up. Oop, space bar, here we go. Bobby, you had five out of six answers, right? Congratulations. You know your Bible studies well. Yeah, that's my idea. Keep going. Space bar. Do we get the animation? No. No? Yes? No? Oh, look, there's the animation. He, he, he moved his mouth. Oh, look at that. He moved his mouth, and he's doing that. <laughs> he's, he's toasting everybody. And that person is frowning at us. <laughs> Judas has a kid's face. Everybody looks like a little kid here. Would you like to see more of the show on Baker Street, Bobby? Yes or no? And then you have your choice of the other parts of this uh, game here. So that's one of the series of the Big Street Kids. And there are others in the series. So that's my brief presentations on religious programs for the Commodore 64. Does anybody ha else have any questions? Have you thought of ways to hack the program? <laughs> hack the program and change, change it to suit your needs. I'm, I'm sure that <laughs> people are pro probably thinking, oh uh, yeah, how can we insert different words in there? Or <laughs> I mean, actually, as a template, you could do a lot of things with it. I mean, if, if you could put in your own data or text and stuff like that, that would be a handy thing for that little program. Actually, you know, I remember um, many years ago at Nauticon in Hawaii, in Ohio, they say Hawaii. Um, in Ohio, they had a person come in, and she had modified Oregon Trail running on the Apple II, and she had gone into the basic of Oregon Trail, and just modified everything to make it more modern. I went, what? So it's not in the 1800s anymore. It's now in the 1900s or the 2000s, and. She put in cars, and <laughs> I went, what, what, but, huh? <laughs> but the people still died of, like, d dysentery, <laughs> and, and other strange happenings. I went, well, okay, like, she took it out of the, it's, it's, it's uh, primitive settings and put it to a more modern time, context. So that, I thought that was very interesting. Yeah. But I've never seen anyone do that for the Commodore version of Oregon Trail. <laughs> Only the Apple II version. Any other questions, guys? Okay, well, thank you very much for listening to me. That, that was it. Great, great. Good job, good job. The Commodore Los Angeles Super Show.